Riri, you might have just did something. welcome back to my channel so in today's video i will be doing a review on the new fenty beauty what is this called hydrating long wear foundation so if you guys want to see what i think about this foundation please stay tuned so i think i'm gonna do like a smoky eye like a black smoky eye i haven't done one in a while and i'm just feeling a real smoky eye today saturday i'm feeling real risky today I'm going to do my eyeshadow off camera because it's going to take me forever and I really don't have time to be talking and trying to do my eyeshadow because I barely know what the fuck I'm doing. So I'll be right back with this Fenty foundation, honey. until I tried to put some, some some glitter on there and yeah it just went to shit after that so <laughs> we about to hop right into skin so first things first I'm about to use this Urban Decay Rebound um, Prep and Prime Spray I put on primer so so the primer I'm going to be using today Milk Makeup Hydro um, Primer this primer is like so bomb y'all like I love this primer it's like kind of like it's not sticky, but it's kind of sticky like. Here, that's what I'm like looking down. Ooh, hey girl! Bitch, my lace, where's that? Yeah, I just had to re like lay my hair down this morning because it was coming up and it was looking a hot ass mess <laughs> after primer i like to color correct i'm gonna use my anastasia beverly hills palette this shit old as hell i have a new one here but it doesn't have the color that i want i like using this um brown color because it's literally like my skin color If you're new here, my name is Cherise, and welcome to my channel. Go ahead and subscribe right now because guess what? You're a part of the family now, so you're going to want to be subscribed to me. I have so much fire shit coming the way, so go ahead and subscribe. I'll wait. Three hours later. We'll be reviewing the new Rihanna Fenty Foundation. I can't wait to review this foundation for y'all because, listen... I struggle a lot with finding bomb foundations that work for my skin. I have really dry skin if you guys don't know. Sometimes it gets oily too, so yeah, the combination of both really kind of fucks over my foundation routine. I only have one foundation that I use at the moment. I can't wait to try this one. Um, it says that it's a hydrating foundation. That's something that I love because let me tell y'all, her last foundation, um, yes, I was hella asleep on it because I tried it once. Did a bomb ass makeup look, it was fire. And then after that, I just did not like it. Like I did not like the foundation. I'm not somebody that likes matte foundations anyway. Like I don't like a matte face. I love a dewy face. I love a glowy face. So hopefully this foundation gives me life because if it's not, I don't know, I'm just gonna have to burn it i guess i'm just kidding but i am gonna not use it i'm gonna give you all the tea on this foundation so if you guys would like to see keep on watching so here is the packaging for her foundation this is what is it called the pro filter hydrating longwear foundation boom this is what the packaging looks like I'm not even gonna lie, I'm not mad at this packaging. I like how sleek it is, like, it's sleek enough for me to like throw this in my purse or something like that. And it's a pretty decent amount 
uh, foundation, 1.08 fluid ounces. So that's a decent amount of foundation. The color that I got, well, the color that Sephora um, shade matched me for is a 420, but I think this is the wrong color because I think the last color I have was 410. So yeah, we about to see, so. This is how it comes. This is the applicator. It's just a little pump. I think it's super cute and convenient. Um, so this is what the foundation looks like. I think this is gonna be a little too warm for me. I have like more golden tones in my skin, so yeah. We finna see how this foundation is about to work. So first things first, I'm gonna take my beauty blender, spray it with my Urban Decay All Matter Spray, um, just to, you know, get a little damp, get a little going. So we about to go ahead and try this foundation. It doesn't really look that off. Not on, um, no, not on camera. It actually doesn't look that bad. And it honestly is super light. It doesn't feel like anything is on my face right now. It is medium coverage, which I love. I'll pump two more just because, bitch, our face is about to be fucking me. Get this five head y'all can't tell right now those who know me know my forehead is big as hell <laughs> this foundation i'm feeling this i really really am like oh i'm definitely feeling this foundation like Oh my God, y'all, are you serious? Look at, look at my face. And on camera, this color isn't, isn't that bad. Like, let me see. I do look a little, I look a little orange in my mirror right here, but it's not that bad. It's really not. Wow, that's crazy. This foundation is really um, giving me life and it's hella lightweight. Like, it literally feels like there's nothing on my face. It feels like how when I put on my Lancome foundation. Yeah, I think we got one. Oh yeah, I'm really feeling this foundation. Like my face doesn't feel cakey at all. It literally feels like there's nothing on my face. Riri, you might've just did, you might've just, you might have just woke me up, cause I ain't gonna lie, I've been real sleep on the Fenty Beauty line and foundation and shit. Like the only Fenty thing that I have is this foundation, um, this um, highlighter. What is this? Hustler Baby highlighter, and I really think that's it. Like I'm not really a Fenty Beauty um, guru like everybody else. Like I haven't been. I've just been sleep on like Fenty Beauty. Just cause like I didn't, I was not fucking with her foundation, the, the first one she came out with. But this one, yeah. So the concealer that I've been using lately is this um, Lancome concealer. It's called the Tent Eat All Ultra Wear Camouflage. I love the texture of this concealer because it's like sticky, like how a primer is. Apply this underneath my eye. That's so crazy. My skin feels so smooth right now. Oh my God. Like y'all have no idea. When I tried to get into her first foundation, that shit was just not working for me. Like it literally worked for me that one time and then that was it. Like the color was throwing me off a little bit. The formula of how mad it is was throwing me off. Like it was just not cute at all i just didn't like it literally didn't use it i don't even have it anymore when i was in hawaii it fell on the floor and it broke and i was 
I didn't even care. <laughs> That's how you know I was not fucking with her foundation. And it was a full bottle. I hadn't had that bottle since it first came out. And it was a, literally a full bottle. Let me put this up. Y'all. Can we please get into how this concealer is just sitting and how my face is just sitting right now? I literally can't believe it. I wasn't like a Fenty hater, but I was just like, y'all, y'all are writers. Like <laughs> everybody was writing her first launch. And I was just like, bro, that foundation is not that fire, but I'm feeling this one. I really am like, I like how medium to full coverage it is. I like how it's so lightweight. Like it literally feels like I don't have anything on my face. And I like how my concealer is, oh my God, blending it, y'all, y'all. I know y'all see this. I'm not exaggerating. Like I love Rihanna, we all love Rihanna, okay? But I'm not gonna just be, <laughs> I'm not gonna be out here giving y'all the tea when it ain't the tea, period. <laughs> Girl! <laughs> Okay, so yeah, let me go ahead and set my concealer. Y'all know what I'm about to use. Laura Mercier powder and translucent. This is the only powder that I use to set my face. I'm about to go ahead and set underneath my eyes with this. Um, lately, I haven't really been like baking. I'm not really into the whole baking thing right now. I do like sort of bake like everywhere else that I put um, concealer, like my nose, my forehead, um, my mouth area. But other than that, like my eyes, I do not bake underneath my eyes anymore because I don't like the creasing. I be trying to prevent that. I also bake around my mouth because my goofy ass got a gang of laugh lines. <laughs> I immediately dust away all of my bake. Like, I do not be trying to um, let my shit sit there too long because that white cast will literally stick to your entire life if you let it. <laughs> So yeah, I'm not even gonna lie. I was really about to be asleep. Like, I was about to say, yeah, okay, cool story, bro, to Rihanna. I was finna straight cool story, bro, her ass. But I'm glad I did. And it's like, I don't know what it is about me and foundations because I've always like had a really hard time with trying to find like my foundation shades and just find foundations that work with my skin because I do have combination skin. So sometimes my skin is like hella oily and then sometimes it's really, really dry. I feel like this foundation is definitely about to have me looking like a motherfucking snack. Finna have my face sitting so fucking right. Like I can't even right now. Like I really, I really was going into this like, you listen, if this shit ain't hydrating, it better be hydrating. Like, it better be hydrating. Wee wee. Listen, girl, your ass is finna get it in this video. I'm not even gonna lie. <laughs> you was about to say, get it. Y'all, I literally, I don't even know what to say right now. I can move my face and I have powder on my face. Like. You guys, I just like check my face and like natural lighting and it's a wrap. It's a fucking wrap. Like I'm just using my Mac, um, what is this called? 
dark tan um, skin finish mineralizer. Of course, I've always been using this. This is the shit. I'm back in, I'm better. Okay. Now I'm about to put on my Urban Decay All Nighter Spray. So my final thoughts on this foundation is that it is fire, period. Y'all, this foundation is fire. It has my skin looking so bomb. Like it's just sitting on my face so perfectly. Like I can't even right now, like I really can't. This foundation has like blew me out the water. Like I was not expecting it to be this bomb but it is so make sure you guys go ahead and head to sephora go cop you one because it is definitely worth it especially for all my dry skin combination girls yes my skin is super dry but it definitely does get super oily like my face feels so smooth it feels so smooth it feels so like it just feels like nothing is on it right now and it doesn't feel drying at all like it doesn't feel drying at all so yeah i would definitely rate this foundation a good 10 out of 10 because i literally have nothing bad to say about it like i don't have one thing one bad thing to say about it i hope you guys like this video please leave a comment down below if you guys like this video make sure you guys are subscribed and hit that notification bell so you are notified when i upload new videos to my channel trying to make it to 100 subscribers so i'm gonna need y'all help though so go ahead share this video with your friends your family your sister your cousin so yeah go ahead subscribe thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you in my next one